and welcome back to another video. This is my first look and unboxing of the XH Data D368 368 World Band Receiver. It has FM AM shortwave 1 to 9, 12 band radio, stereo wireless music player, MP3 player, USB TF, which is your micro SD, and radio. Let's have a look at the box. See what else it says about it. Now well, that wireless music player, FM stereo technology, 3.7 volts, 18650 lithium battery, Type C charging interface, and 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone output. That's that. Folding bracket. Got the model there again. On the other side, same thing. Okay, let's open this baby up. This one was packaged better than last time. It came in a brown box with this inside it. Whereas the last radio came in just the retail box with a sticker on it with the address and all that. So I wasn't overly impressed with that. Just so everyone could actually see what it was in shipping, which is not really the safest thing. Okay, so what do you get with it? You get a lanyard strap, this little little lanyard strap here. Nothing to crash up, but it's alright. And a Type C to Type A charging cable. Pretty cool. It's good they include these things. Okay, so let's get this box out of the way quickly, so we can get this done. Okay, let's have a bit of a look around the radio itself. You've got your off mp3 bluetooth and radio selector and then your fm am and shortwave selector is your play fast forward rewind and mode buttons but let's say that's for your mp3s and that let's see if we can see it a little better there take a quick photo okay underneath no little rubber bits just plastic there on the back it says all the frequencies like that it can handle between so I'll leave that there for a sec so I can zoom in and editing let's see what it says AM FM shortwave 12 band radio FM 187 to 108 FM 2 is 64 to 108 megahertz am 522 to 1620 kilohertz shortwave 4.75 to 22 megahertz dc in 5 1000 milliamp hour dc 3.7 volts 18650 made in china antenna this would be for your lanyard here i would say Let's see what sort of battery it's got here. Uh, it's got your standard XH Data battery. XH Data 18650 no, 2000 milliamp hour battery. There you go. That just gives you a bit of a look. I might actually take it out and show it so you can actually see it better. See if it'll focus on it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Let's see if you can read it. Might be able to zoom in in editing and see. Okay, so we'll get that in. There's no little um, tab to take out. Sometimes you've got to take out a little tab there to activate it. Let's see what we got. Okay, so on the top, we've got the USB-C. Headphone jack. USB for like a memory stick and that. And then your SD card slot. It's got DSP, FM, a DSP, FM stereo band. AM, FM, shortwave, 12 bands. Your telescopic antenna. Is it a 360 one? I did buy a radio once. It didn't have the 360, which could easily break. Yes, it is. You can turn it like that. Did make a clicking noise when I did that, though. As you could probably hear. Okay, there's nothing on the side. Here we've got tuning and volume. So you're tuning in your volume right there. Just leave it for a sec so you can have a bit of a look. Show the front properly, get it lined up 
so it looks all spiffy. Anything with those particular SH, XH data batteries, I find with the uh, D908, I think it was, uh, when you don't use it, it loses its charge even when it's turned off. So you go to use it and it's flat, even when it's turned off. So, uh, don't like the look of that. So there's your FM. But nothing comes up on this little screen with FM. Your radio. That's, well, the only thing I'm really going to find without an external antenna inside here would be on FM. It'd be nice if there was a light that shone on here. Shone across. Where's your tuning? This is your tuning. Be available for over 2,000 Australians with cystic fibrosis. We've seen people who are on the heart lung transplant, or, uh, transplant list. Now that interference will be from the computer. So bear with it. The minister has only just approved this after some delay and after rejection by the PBAC. Well, the local government. Uh, saying government radio stations. Doctors to take over the prescribing and the monitoring and the follow up of people. And with that trough over northeast New South Wales, it's directing some of that moisture it's right ABC in local, across the northern rivers and then coming Brisbane. back up around over the granite belt as well. So we're getting pretty loud. plenty of moisture feed from that system off the southeast, uh, across the southeast as well. And let's, given the upper level system... Let's see if we can pick up local 4K Z on AM. Significant rains we had over, overnight Turn it to AM, which is the third one along. It'll have the uh, built-in ferroid antenna, which just usually goes around. Yep. Local 4 goes it can't play too much because of the copy protection, copyright and all that. Um, yeah, it picks up that. Run up the table lines. It moves really smoothly across. Which I'm quite impressed with. Let's see if we can get any short wave without the antenna extended. Or anything clipped to it. Just quickly. Yep, that's something there. There you go. Alright, let's, let's kickstand it. That radio in New Zealand can sometimes get without external antenna okay, inside. I wish it had a external antenna jack, like on one of the other radios, I think it was the D908, had where the there was an auxiliary port that had a um, antenna jack built into it as well, so it doubled as both. Right, yeah, so how do we change it to Bluetooth? Okay, we've got Bluetooth coming up there. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. And we can connect through the phone. I'm using the phone for recording at the moment, so we can't use that. But just gives you an idea. It does do it. I don't know if it has Bluetooth out, like for listening through headphones. That would be cool. If they could make this so you could Bluetooth headphones to it. Like exact same radio even. Put in a, a line out, an antenna jack, like a 3.5 millimeter antenna jack, and make it where the Bluetooth audio can go out. Okay, so it costs me $28.45 Australian. It came from China. It was xhdata.com.cn to find it. It's the xhdata D6368 uh, FM AM shortwave portable receiver. It's a 2022 model. It's got Bluetooth. Um, it used to take about two weeks to come directly from XH data themselves to Australia. But just lately, this one took about a month to arrive. But anyway, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos in the radio playlist. If you want to see about my local area, check out the Innisfail playlist, the Walking Directions playlist to see what it's like. There's a lot more radio listening 
um, videos with audio and stuff showing other radios and what I can pick up through my outdoor loop antenna, active loop antenna, all in the radio playlist. This is Bestest Times, reminding you to enjoy your tech.